Prepare to go down the rabbit hole with me as I share with you one of the most whimsical projects I've worked on so far, an Alice in Wonderland themed graduation event. So if you're curiouser and curiouser, keep watching. to create some larger-than-life party props, starting with this giant fairy tale storybook that you see here in my living room. I'll share a few highlights of the building process now in this video, but if you'd like to see a step-by-step -step tutorial, I will upload that so that you can come back and watch that in a separate video. Since Alice in Wonderland is an old classic, I wanted the cover to look like a vintage leather book that had been sitting on the shelf for years. It took me about two weeks to make this because I've never made one of these before. But now that I've figured out some things to do different and better, I think I can do it in less time. I priced a large book prop like this on Etsy and believe it or not, it sells for about a thousand dollars or more. I can make this custom with different materials for any occasion and I think it would be especially nice for a fairy tale our story themed wedding. I created the book in three pieces so that it can be transported in the back of a family size minivan with all of the seats turned down. Next, I made some extra large clocks because the rabbit's clock is a very iconic part of the story. These wooden trays are from Hobby Lobby and they come in several sizes. The smaller size is about $20 and the larger of the two is about $25. I'll show you the trays side by side so that you can see the difference in size. After the event, these can also be converted to working clocks by drilling a small hole in the middle and adding a battery operated clock mechanism. Or you can remove the decals and reuse this for a totally different project. The numbers on the clock are stickers, but you can also make these Roman numerals yourself with your Cricut machine. My client provided the graphics and I printed them out on clear sticker paper. I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. These wooden arrows from Dollar Tree were perfect for a directional sign pole that I made. I'll show you how that turned out at the event. I made a custom life-sized three-foot cutout of the Queen of Hearts and had Amazon print and cut her out. You'll see her stationed at the gift table. Now before I show you the largest prop I provided for this event, let me show you what we did on the first day of this two-day celebration. The Atlanta Botanical Garden just happened to be featuring Alice's Wonderland in floral displays. So our graduate invited some of her best friends to dress in costume for the coolest photo shoot ever. The timing of this event couldn't have been more perfect. 
As soon as you enter, you are greeted by these giant storybooks, but of course theirs are made of live greenery and flowers. What is the use of a book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversations? Look who's smiling in the background. It's the Cheshire Cat. But I don't want to go among mad people, said Alice. Oh, you can't help that, said the cat. We're all mad here. And here she is in all of her glory, the Queen of Hearts. Off with their heads. If you've never been to the Atlanta Botanical Gardens, this is a must-see exhibit. You will love it. They even had an exhibit of the singing flowers from the story, and they were really singing. Our adventure ended here at the gift shop. Every adventure requires a first step. Goodbye, sweet hat. Day two of this graduation event was an outdoor meet and greet tea party where lots of guests gathered for an immersive Wonderland experience. But first, they had to drink to shrink and enter through my largest prop, down the rabbit hole. The rabbit hole is a 10 foot long garden trellis graffitied with a series of backdrops and decorative props that you walk through and it's supposed to give you the feeling that you are getting smaller and smaller and smaller in order to enter Wonderland. What a fun way for guests to make an entrance to this imaginative event space. Upon exiting the rabbit hole, the first thing the guests see is her gift table. I'm going to let you just enjoy wandering around Wonderland from here. The graduate's parents, specifically her mother, had a vision of how she wanted everything to look. She provided most of the decorations and a small group of family and friends helped to set everything up. Pay special attention to every detail for the ideas and inspiration you need for your next event. And if you were at this event, but you missed seeing something, hopefully I've captured all the tiny touches so that you can relive this experience. Enjoy.
I created and provided all of the custom backdrops that you see here, but everything on the tables and the displays is provided by her mom. And here's a closer look at the directional sign Wonderland pole that I made. And at Alina's request, her parents set up a quaint little private tea party picnic area where she could sit with her best friends and enjoy the Mad Hatter's tea.
On the other side of Wonderland, guests could enjoy a game of flamingo cornhole, take photos, and have a spot of tea. So when it comes to choosing a theme for your event, think outside the box, or in this case, pull inspiration right from a book. If I had a world of my own, everything would be nonsense. Nothing would be what it is because everything would be what it isn't. This vintage steampunk take on Alice in Wonderland perfectly suited the personality of our graduate Alina, and we were just thrilled to bring this to life for her. When I used to read about fairy tales, I never thought I'd end up in the middle of one. See, fairy tales do come true. Congratulations, Alina, and thank you for allowing us to share this milestone celebration with you. For everyone else who's watching, thank you for tuning in and remember to press the like button or else off with your head. I'm Steph Storm. Click here to watch these videos next.